New this morning, a child is in the hospital after being shot in the leg. It happened just after midnight on Hickory Street near Lebanon Drive. That's just south of downtown St. Louis. Right now, no word on the victim's age or what led up to the shooting. And this shooting is just the most recent example of crime setting out of hand in St. Louis. This is really getting bad. It is, and today the community is coming together to fight the violence in a unique way. Our Alex Fees is outside police headquarters downtown with more on the effort. Good morning, Alex. What can you tell us? Sydney and Travis, good morning. Tonight's roundtable on crime in the city of St. Louis is being organized by a native, an ex-convict by the name of Darren Seals. He's bringing together dozens of former felons and gang members to, uh, tonight in the hopes of making an impression on the young people of today. Now, Darren Seals is also hoping to help curb crime after being shot 13 times and locked up more than 60. About five years ago, he turned a former church near Emma and Mimica Avenues into the Sankofa Mentoring and Training Center. Tonight, the 53-year-old will team up with at least 70 former felons for what SEALs calls the sit-down. Former drug dealers and gang leaders are hoping to deter teens from turning to a life of crime. I've been to jail. I did wrong. I messed up my credit. Can't get a job. Stereotype. Don't come this route. Go do something different. Now, the sit-down roundtable talks on youth crime will be at 6 o'clock tonight. Again, that's at the Sankofa Mentoring and Training Center located at 6100 Emma Avenue. Now, coming up at the bottom of the hour at 630, we will hear from a teenager who is a part of that program. He'll tell us what kind of impression it's made on him. All right, Alex, thanks for the information. Before you go, Alex, tonight's roundtable comes just one day after the Board of Aldermen passed a bill in hopes of curbing crime. What can you tell us about that plan? That's right, Travis. That uh, bill passed by the Board of Aldermen would, would ban openly carrying of weapons in St. Louis. If Mayor Tashara Jones signs it, police officers will be able to approach anyone carrying a gun to ask them if they have a permit. If that person does not have a permit, officers can seize the weapon and give them a ticket. You have to be at least 19 years old to have a conceal and carry permit. Now, Mayor Jones has until August 9th to veto that Board Bill 29 or it automatically becomes law. She can also choose to sign it between now and then, as she has done in other cases uh, for measures that she supports. In a statement, her spokesperson said the mayor is reviewing that measure. Live outside police headquarters, Alex Fees, five on your side.